Hey guys, it's kind of hard to tell. Well, I don't know, there's a giant fish behind me, so maybe you can tell. But I am here at SeaWorld Orlando. Check out a little bit of their daytime Christmas. So follow along, this is gonna be an amazing adventure. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. So this is really cool. The big tree has a button you can push. Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, and the lights turned on. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. It's hard to see during the day, but that is really neat. Oh my God, I love it. And this tree is gorgeous. Look at how big it is. I did get my picture with it with one of the photo pass, the photo key girl. So I'll input that right here. I love how they mix the ornaments so it's not all mixed together. It's little sections of different colors. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at these little Christmas gift bags. They're all rid off the Red Nose Reindeer theme. These are so cute. And they are $2 per bag. They also have some onesies. They have a Bumble onesie and a Rudolph onesie. I'm trying to figure out how much they are. I don't see a price tag. <gasps> Rudolph has his red nose on the hat. That's amazing. Wow, these aren't bad at all. These are $29.99 and they're not like super heavy. So these wouldn't be terrible for Florida. They also have some Rudolph themed pajamas. I see Bumble in blue and, uh, oh wait, Bumble's in a light blue, a black and a dark blue. And then they have a Rudolph one. These are $20 per pair. They have a Rudolph Oh, it says SeaWorld and Bush Gardens. That's so cute. And 16, and that's a huge stocking for 16. They have a little girl's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer pajama dress for 34. That's weird. The dress is 34, but the two-piece pajama set for boys is only 20. They also have some plushies. So we have Rudolph for 22. Clarice for 22. Bumble is 27. Um, I forget what his name is. He was kind of like the me. Oh no, this is a different Rudolph. Wait, push me. Oh, this one's nose lights up. That's amazing. He is 20. So they also have the elf. Oh, I do not remember his name, but he wants to be a dentist. He is 19 and they have the pink polka dot elephant and he is $16.99, so cute. They also have these really cute tiny plushies. Oh my gosh, there's a stilt walker. That's cool. Oh, there's a toy soldier as well, beautiful. So before I got distracted, they have these tiny plushies for 13. They have Clarice, they have Rudolph, and everybody's favorite, the Bumble, and Bumble's bounce. How beautiful, oh, I'm videoing. How beautiful are these ladies today? Oh my gosh, I love it. You guys look fantastic. So as you walk down by the waterfront, there's this gorgeous Christmas archway that you walk through, guarded by some, some uh, big toy soldiers. And now I'm here during the day, so there's not a ton of stuff going on during the day, but at night during the week, this is all lit up. It does snow in this area, and they do do the Sea of Trees every night during the week. On the weekends is when the full event goes on, and I will be back when I get back from Jersey uh, to do the full weekend Christmas event. Okay, this music is so loud, so I hope you can hear me, but how much fun are these Christmas hats? These are mermaid tails, and they are the movable glitter. So on one side is the pattern scales, and the other side is just the solid color, and it has a little flipper. These are awesome. They also have a shark tail Christmas stocking. This is 15, and they have a couple different of the Santa, oh wait, are these? This is not a hat, this is a stocking too. So they have some mermaid tail stockings. They have green, blue, 
gold, or the shark tail. And these are all the changeable glitter. I'm such a kid, these are so much fun. So the stockings are all $14.99 each, and the hats are $19.99, and I think there's another one on the other side. Let's check that out. I don't think it's showing up on the camera at all, but this is a flashing bow headband, and there are some lace flashing. It's blue on the bottom, red at the top, and same, blue on the bottom, red at the top. Probably looks really cool, and wow, this is only $4.69. Oh, I might have to get one of these for Kay. All right, so they have the blue hat, and then they that's the mermaid tail, and then they have just a Santa hat that is the changeable glitter. It's green on one side, red on the other, and you could even do like almost like a patchwork pattern with it. That's pretty cool. And this one is $20 as well. And SeaWorld has its own type of laid-up necklace. It's a peppermint candy one, and these are $10 each. And inside Rudolph Gifts, they have a ton of... Christmas merch and it's all themed to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I love, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's a nutcracker. <gasps> That's so awesome. And he's $60, but he's gorgeous. <gasps> they have a whole bunch of little ornaments. They're all $12.99 each. They have Bumble, they have the snowman, they have the Bumble with the elf, Clarice and Rudolph. They have one. It's a little um, wreath with the couple. Oh my God, look at this one. It's Bumble all wrapped up in Christmas lights. And these are like so inexpensive compared to like the ones at Disney that are the same size that are $22. These are only $12.99 each. They have Yukon Cornelius. He is Lee's favorite. They have a Rudolph Spirit jersey. This is amazing. Let's see. He's $40. It says Rudolph Squad on the back. That is so cute. So this is the kids one. I hope there's an adult one somewhere. There is, and it is Bumble, and this is flipping amazing. So Bumble's on the front. Oh, having issues here. Yes. And it says Bumble Squad on the back. Oh my gosh. And for the adult one, it is $56.99. Oh man, I really like that one. Oh wait, they have a kids Bumble Squad one too. That's awesome. So you could do like a parent and child matching one. And again, $39.99. Wait, yeah, $39.99 for the Bumble for kids. Aha, so there's an adult Rudolph as well, except this one is white, but I love that it has Rudolph. Let's see, is it the same? This one's only $54.99. It's interesting, but the Bumble ones are more expensive. And it says Rudolph Squad on the back. Oh, this shirt's so nice. Ooh, I love that it has Bumble. It's $25, and this is like the softest t-shirt I have ever felt. It is plain on the back. I like this though. That's so cute. They also have just some fun Florida ornaments like Surfing Santa for 10, the beach chair with s'mores for 10. These are nice because these, oh, this is so cute. Oh, this is only six. Oh my God, you know my obsession with snowmen. Wow, these are cool. These have actual um, hand applied Svartsky crystals. They're really teeny tiny Svartsky crystals, but they have like all the different Army, Navy, Air Force, National Guard, Coast Guard. They have a lot of military themed. These are 20 and they do say SeaWorld on the back. These are cool. <laughs> these are amazing. These are $9 a piece, and they have a Santa crocodile, a Santa turtle, a Santa flamingo, a Santa dolphin, shark, a Santa ray, and a, and a little Christmas penguin. So I talk about how SeaWorld just reminds me of my hometown of Smithville, uh, where they do like a very hometown Christmas. They have a ton of like unique Christmas crafts and this section of the store totally brings that out. Oh, these are gorgeous. These are stocking holders. Oh, those are so pretty. And they have just all these rustic ornaments, which is right up my alley. Like, oh, this truck is so popular this year. 15 for the little sign. And they just have some different little ornaments for five dollars a piece like they have so much <gasps> look at this oh my gosh he's 15. Ooh, i might have to come back and do some christmas shopping here and they have like a little tree set up 
And when I'm back in Jersey this weekend, we're going to take some time and go to Smithville. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean because this looks just like a Smithville Christmas. Ooh, I really like this shirt. It's just a long sleeve tee, but it's nice and thin. It says merry and bright. So it's like a Christmas theme, but not like slap you in the face Christmas. And it is $34.99. I love that. And I will say it a million times, the pass holder perks at SeaWorld are amazing. I just got a free ornament and it is this gorgeous blown glass orca. Oh my gosh, I wish I could put him, I can't put him on my tree this year because of the kitten, hopefully next year because he's stunning. Now I have done SeaWorld Christmas before, so I know how pretty this is at night. Some of you may not, but I promise I will be back. Um, it's just amazing, I love it. I love that over here by the waterfront, it's all red and white themed. They have red snowflakes and the red and white candy canes and the baubles are all silver and red. Oh, now if only it was silver and gold, I could sing the song, but silver and red is just as pretty. Well, that's interesting. It looks like in Seafire Grill, they are continuously showing uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer movie. Ooh, I will definitely be back in here later. How pretty is this reef? I love that it used the candy canes instead of a bow. And I like that all the parks are switching to these really tiny um, like LED Christmas lights. They look so much prettier at night. And here at the Flamecraft Bar, they have a whole bunch of like felted animals in their garland. That's so cute. And they have like little snowflake trees and there's beaded stars. Oh, it's so pretty. And I love how they're all like really tiny. So it's kind of understated. It's not like too much. So here's some fun little information on the Sea of Trees. There's almost eight miles of garland. There's 14 miles of cable that control the lights. It would take over 3 million household Christmas lights to create the performance. There's over 116 trees and they range from 10 to over 70 feet and they're planted in up to 14 feet of water. That is pretty cool. So all the way over there is their actual Christmas town here at SeaWorld. That is only open on the weekends. Um, I believe it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but I have to double check. I know 100% Saturday and Sunday. I'm not positive about Friday. I will ask and put it, I'll put a pop up on the bottom that says for sure. All right, so do you see all those white things? Those are uh, like a brake stop, I think, for a launch coaster. So is this gonna be a launch coaster? Oh, SeaWorld totally needs one of those and I am so flipping excited. And look, look how high up it goes. Oh, it looks like that's the end of the track. Whoa, so those are brakes. So that's the brake stop right there. Oh, this is gonna be cool looking. It must go forward and backwards. Ooh, some of the trees have lights on. Oh, it's so pretty. I can't wait to see this at night. Like the whole tree's wrapped like all the way up in twinkle lights. Oh, this is, oh yeah, like literally all the way out. This has to look so pretty at night. Okay, so here's a much better view of Icebreaker. You can see those three little brake stops at the top and then it drops down and heads out that way. This looks really cool. I'm so excited. So I decided to try Mango Joe's um, for breakfast because I haven't eaten anything yet today. And I just got the pepperoni pizza meal and it comes with pepperoni pizza and they have waffle fries. This is so exciting. This was $11.99 um, and it looks really good. I can't wait to try it. They even themed their napkins for Christmas. I love this. So a cool thing they offer here is they have these little packets of grated Parmesan cheese for the pizza. And they also have um, the same size packet of crushed red pepper, which I don't do spicy, so I just stick with the cheese. Here at Mango Joe's, they have just a traditional green garland with big multicolor lights and these beautiful red and gold bows. So pretty. So now I see why Christmas Town is closed during the week. It is loud and it's very dusty from the sand from all the construction. But this is the entrance from the Arctic side to Christmas Town, which will be open on the weekends. But this is cool. The, the Arctic Ride gift shop has turned into Santa's base camp and gifts. Let's check it out. This is so cool. They've completely rethemed the whole front of the store and they even put like a frosted glass on the outside of the doors. Cool. Oh, look at these beautiful trees. These are gorgeous. I love that they're just red and white. 
I love that they have like a basic red and white theme for this. It's so cool. Oh my gosh, these ornaments are so much fun. Um, they have noses. So this elf is $9.99 and look, it's like a little 3D nose. The gingerbread man has a fake, ooh, that's so blurry. The gingerbread man has a fake gumdrop. Let's see what else is there. The angel has a nose. Oh my gosh, what is this? The polar bear has a purple nose. I really like that. And look at the nutcracker. Oh my gosh, he's so cool. The nativity doesn't have any noses, but it has six twinkle lights in it. Now it says to remove the sticker to activate, so I'm not going to do that because I don't want to ruin it. And oh my gosh, look at Santa. Oh my god. Oh, Santa has twinkle lights. Oh wait, do they they all have twinkle lights too? <gasps> That's really cool. And these are all $9.99. <gasps> How adorable is this little girl's Christmas reindeer? It's Doe the Deer, and it's $55, but it's gorgeous. These are called Doodle Pants, and they're like kids' stockings. These are amazing. So they have the Christmas truck, they have a deer, and then they have a Santa pair. These are so cute. You can get them at doodlepants.com, but here they have them for $23.99. These are called Squishmallows, and these are adorable. They have three different sizes, so here's the big one. The giant one is $22.99. Oh my god, these are the softest things. Oh, wow, that's so soft. But they have an elf, a reindeer, they have Santa, and a penguin in the big ones. In the medium size, they have a lot more. So they have a polar bear, let's see, medium $17.99 a gingerbread man, a reindeer, a snowman. Oh my God, these are so soft. Santa and the elf. I love these. And then they have these itty bitty ones. <clears throat> and these are $12.99 and they're still so soft. They have the same Santa, they have the full set. Santa, snowman, elf, reindeer, penguin, and uh, oh, no gingerbread man. Oh, and polar bear. And then here they have a whale tail Christmas hat. And these are, ooh, it doesn't say a price. Aha, uh -huh. I found one with a price. They are $11.27. That's a weird. It must round up to an even number with tax. They still sell my hat. I do need a new one because my blinkers go in a, like, away. But this is gorgeous, and it is, let's see, I know I saw one. So it's $12, so it's a little bit more, well, maybe it was $12 before, and with my annual pass discount, it was 10, because I bought it when I first had my annual pass, but they still have them. I am really digging the decorations. Look at that elf, that is so cool. I love this. And then they have Santa's actual base camp, I don't know what this is, so let's go in and check it out. I love that they have all these old Coke um, designs all over, and the lights actually aren't twinkling, it's the camera doing that. Santa's coming! They even have a North Pole, Sea of Legends, Sea of Mystery, and Santa's workshop. So this is so trippy with the lighting, but in the walkthrough of Wild Arctic is considered Santa's base camp because this is based at the North Pole. The beluga, she's swimming around. Oh, she's swimming along the top. She's so pretty. Ooh, this tree is so cool, it's huge. Wow. And I love all these classic Coca-Cola posters they have all over. These are gorgeous and they're so like, they bring back so many memories of growing up. And I love how there's just like little, Coke must be sponsoring this because there's Coca-Cola stuff everywhere. But I love all the little trees and stuff just all over the place. Even the base camps decorated for Christmas, they have their own little tree. And look, they have some Christmas lights strung up and Santa hats. Ooh, 
Ooh, these lights are so pretty. You can't even see the difference. See, can I get it to focus on them? No, but some are red and some are white. For some reason, the colors aren't showing up as any different, but oh, these are those little flower twinkle lights. <gasps> we had those as a kid. Oh my gosh, so many memories this Christmas. Oh my goodness. Oh, I like these little ones. The wreaths with just Santa. They're so cute. There's all these signs for Santa's base camp. I'm really hoping Santa is at the end of this because I'm gonna be very disappointed if he's not here. Ah, now that we're under, you can see the walrus. Okay, so I'm heading into Santa's base camp. I'm hoping Santa's actually here. Oh, I see Santa. Oh my gosh, he's actually here. Oh, it's so exciting. Hello, Santa. I can't believe you're actually here. So I didn't actually film um, me meeting with Santa because my Christmas list is secret. But I did explain to him that we'll be making cookies and I'm saving some special ones just for him. But I did take a super awesome picture and I will insert it right here. And can I say what an awesome costume he has? And he's like a legit Santa, like full on rosy cheeks, real beard. It was really him. These are like such fun little photo ops. They 100% are sponsoring this because there's no way they would put all this much Coke merch without it. But I love this. Do you see these little egrets right here? These were all over my yard yesterday. It was hysterical. When I pulled in, they all like ran to the neighbor's house. So I'm super excited because they have all these um, Christmas stands for when the events open on the weekend. And I think there's some sampling coming in my future when I come back. But like this one's all different hot cocos and they have churro ice cream sundaes. And I found out I totally have a free ticket. So I am bringing Lee with me because they also have all these craft brews. So Lee can get some samplers of the different beers while I get samplers of the non-alcoholic stuff. Okay, so this is as far as I'm going into Sesame Street land today. But look at how awesome this Elmo is with the festive garland and Cookie Monster. Wow, Cookie Monster is like super dark and I cannot make him lighter, but I love Cookie Monster and he's fantastic. And I can't wait to come back on the weekend and do Christmas Town and they have a holiday parade for Sesame Street Land. And I realized with my free ticket, I'm gonna bring Lee so we get to do all this together. This stand right here is the one that got me excited for the tasting lanyard. They have waffle madness. So they have all different um, waffles. They have a Boston cream, a peanut butter, a Guinness, which is topped with bacon maple syrup and Guinness cream. Ooh, this is definitely gonna be one of my stops. But look at the decorations here. These are so pretty. They're all like a teal and blue. And these baubles are, have the coolest decorations on them. I really like them. So this is awesome. Each entrance has two different Nutcracker Sesame Street characters. So the main entrance coming from like Infinity Falls is Bert and Ernie. There's Ernie and there's Bert. All right, here's a much better view of Bert without the glare of the sun. And these are really cool. These are a great little photo op. And look at the baubles. And it's now I don't have the sun, so you can actually see. I love that it's like a Sesame Street theme. They're nice, bright colors and purples and reds and greens and all the colors. And they just really, really pop. And there's some natural green and green garland wrapped around. I bet you this looks really cool at night. So when I come with Lee, I am totally making him go in this with me because now that I have the photo key with my annual pass, I can get the pictures. Here in Antarctica, the Expedition Cafe has also been decorated for Christmas. That's super zoomed in. It says Merry Christmas, Feliz Natal from SeaWorld. So cute. OMG, how cute is this Santa penguin? Oh my gosh, he's so soft. <gasps> $25, he's adorable. So it is now 3.40 and in true gen fashion, I'm heading into Seafire Grill, which is where I got the delicious wings before, to get my next meal and watch some, um, watch some Rudolph. Totally almost just wore my soda. I really wanna get those wings again, but I think I'm gonna go for something different. And most of the quick services have the same desserts. They all have the chocolate cake, the cheesecake, um, they usually have some kind of fruit cup. It will, the fruit will vary between the different restaurants. Then they also have um, the kid's size. If you have a kid's meal, they have cookies or the fruit cup. 
They have side salads. That is the grilled chicken salad that's offered. And that's pretty good looking. Oh, so many tomatoes, that looks so good. And then here's the, it is a grilled chicken wrap. That actually looks pretty good too. So guess what they're not showing right now? Darn it, the only reason I came here to eat was because I wanted to see Rudolph, man. But here's my fried chicken sandwich. It does come plain, but they give you the lettuce, tomato, and pickles on the side, and it comes with waffle fries. So again, this was part of my all your dining, so I got two meals today on my dining plan. It's starting. Yes. Hermy, that's his name. This is so cool. <clears throat> This is a very modified version of Rudolph. But there's like lights flashing and Bumble's feet steps echo through. And I can hear like it's splashing behind us. When his nose glows red, the whole room glows red. It's snowing, wait. There's a blizzard in here. This is amazing. That is so much snow. Good thing I'm done eating. It's Clarice. Oh my gosh. She's here. And Rudolph. What? Oh my gosh. Clarice and Rudolph are here. His nose even flashes red. That's amazing. His nose is making the whole building glow. And right now there's fans blowing to simulate them flying. This is awesome. Rudolph the red nose reindeer, you'll go down in his story. Awesome. I feel so special. You guys came all the way here just to see us. Oh my gosh, and you even lit up your nose for me. I feel so honored. It's such an honor to meet you guys. Will you hold this for of me? Of course. Because so I can steal a picture from the video. Can I get a hug? Meet you, Rudolph and Miss Clarice. You look absolutely beautiful with your poinsettia necklace. I love it. So fashionable. Thank you. Can I get a quick picture? Oh, you look fantastic with your scarf, yes. Well, you have your nose, so you always look amazing. You gotta give Clarice some props. She has to actually dress up. <laughs> oh, you two are so cute together. Rudolph, I'm gonna fix your scarf, okay? So it's perfect. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much, guys. It was so wonderful to meet you. Thank you for coming all the way down to see us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys, take care back at the North Pole, okay? Stay warm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you so much. You're the best. <laughs> yeah, he's a keeper. <laughs> Aww. Love you too. Oh, I love you as well. Thank you so much. Bye. Have a nice day. Oh. <laughs> She's not paying attention, Rudolph. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> and then they even headed out into the park to do meet and greets with people. That's so amazing. Ooh, I really like this T-shirt. <gasps> this is nice. It's twenty dollars. This is really cute. I love that. And I like this long sleeve one too, SeaWorld Christmas Celebration. And this one's 30. And is this one, the t-shirt was plain on the back and so is this one, but I really, really like them. Oh my gosh, these are new. It's a four piece alcohol pin set. It's $25. I might have to come back and get these for Lee. This is hysterical. So I totally forgot to film this earlier. I was too busy getting my picture taken, but they have this fun little photo op before you even get into the park. And these trees are so cool. They're all made of different types of like plastic cups, recycled plastic cups. 
that they've colored all different colors. So this is another, like look, they even, oh, they're bottles. So this is another DIY that you could do at home and this tree is gorgeous. In a different spot, but I am back to the front of the park and that's gonna do it for another trip here at SeaWorld. This was our first taste of Christmas and it was a really good one. I did not know that Rudolph and Clarice came out. That was amazing. Now I'm so glad I went in there to eat. I am so stuffed. I had three meals in like six hours. So full. But um, we will be back. I'll be back. I'm bringing Lee with our free December ticket so we can do the nighttime Christmas stuff and the Christmas shows and the Christmas lights and the Christmas um, eat some food at the Christmas festival stands. So keep stay tuned for that. If you guys like these videos, please click that subscribe button, tap the like, and ring that notification bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank you so much for watching, and now we're on to the next adventure. Bye guys!